Ryd always believed that women could succeed in any math or science career. Although not everyone agreed, she persisted and she became the first American woman in space. But that wasn't enough for Sally. She traveled into space once more and then created science and engineering programs specifically for girls so she could help generations of young women achieve their dreams too. And she says, young girls need to see role models in whatever careers they may choose just so they can picture themselves doing those jobs someday. You can't be what you can't see. My name is Naveen Saklawi and I'm fifth grade. Last year, I was thinking about it. Women are really underrated, and they should be a little bit more, more encouraged to do what they should be doing. And I felt like it was really important for the students to know about this. I had some very special guests coming in. I had a lot of important people in our community coming in to read. We have Ms. Sherry Saad, she was a broker at Remax. There was Donna Muhammad, she's a women's rights activist. There is my mom, Faila Haidar, she's a realtor, she has a master's degree in public administrations. And really, there was a lot of other important people that did much of that. <laughs> It is March's Reading Month, but it is also Women's History Month in March. And take some time to celebrate that and really inspire uh, our future leaders. This group of girls and the many others that attend our school, we are so very proud of them and again, very appreciative to you for coming out here and helping us. My favorite part about marching, March's Reading Month is just the reading. It's it's really obvious, but it's just, I love reading. It's just so much imagination in words. I thought that was really important to combine it because, like, surprisingly, they're both in the same month, which really helped out as well. And um, I felt like it was better, so then the woman can really interact with the students, which was really exciting for the students in my life.